This is Trafalgar Square in London. If you ever stood here, you stood on a paving material called Yorkstone. The guys who make patios and driveways used to love Yorkstone because of its colour and texture. But there's not much of it left, so it's expensive. Well, they think they've found a cheaper, good-looking alternative. But it's got a bad story to tell. So, this is the product. It's Indian sandstone. It's like Yorkstone, but it's cheap, it's plentiful, perfect for your new patio. Of course, what they sell you isn't the lump of stone. It's the dream. A place where your children will grow up, have their happiest memories, carefree, magic, fun times. And at the end of the day, after a hard day at work, you can relax with a chilled glass of white wine on your patio. But supposing that behind the dream was this. This photograph was taken by the Group Marketing Director of Marshalls, Chris Harrop. I went to the company's headquarters to ask him about the story behind the photograph. So, we're, I'm in India, I'm looking at our uh, supply chain for, for our production of our Indian paving. And across the road I can hear um, another quarry. Um, I asked the question, you know, what's that? Oh, it's somebody else's quarry. So I just said, well, let's, let's go have a walk through. Um, round the corner and, whoa, there's um, two kids, um, probably oh, 14 and 10, um, bare feet, using a jackhammer in the middle of nowhere, no equipment, no safety, no water, no nothing, just standing on top of a jackhammer, um, basically trying to split a block of sandstone. Um, they end up there, you know, it's, a, it's a very poor area, um, the export market for sandstone is a lucrative one, um, and they need money. There's, you know, no, who's checking that they go to school? Look at who is supplying the sandstone. If there's a proper website with a proper social responsibility area with proof, so not just happy smiley pictures of kids, what are they doing? We've consolidated all of our supply into one company um, and we uh, have a very good partnership agreement with that company. So we work hand in hand. So together we address these issues. We address the issues of quality, of safety, of children, of bonded labour, um, to make sure that, that there are processes in place and that the Indian uh, partner actually gets it, they understand it, um, they work through the process. It doesn't rely on me being there with a big stick. Um, what we've done is we've got an NGO called Hadoti um, and we fund that NGO to run schools. So part of the, the reason that they are um, working in the quarries is that they don't have access to education if they are the children of a migrant family. So we run schools, or Hadoti, run schools specifically for children of migrant workers so they get an education. There are some really bright kids there and, and if we give them the, the opportunity, teach them to, to read and write, they can go on to other schools, they can get into official education, they've got a chance, they've got a future. When I was there in India, those girls were, I found out how old they were, they were exactly the same age as my children at the time. So I've got two, two girls, they're exactly the same age, and it brings it home to you. So it's not a document, it's not a report, this is real people, real lives, real kids, the same age as my own children, working in a spoil heap, pulling bits of stone out of a really bad spoil heap with all the stone tumbling around them being forced to, to chisel away to make small element paving to go on somebody's driveway or somebody's path. And, and from a moral perspective, it's wrong. From a social perspective, it brings it home to you. Um, and from a reputational perspective, it's an absolute disaster. <laughs>